put simply, global liquidity is a representation of the access of credit and the level of investment around the world. High levels of liquidity represent uh, confidence in the global economy, while low levels of uh, global liquidity effectively mean a contraction in the access of credit and the lower levels of confidence in investment around the world. Unfortunately, what we're seeing in 2012 is a contraction in the level of global liquidity as confidence around the world, but especially in certain areas such as developed economies, is declining. So the two largest factors impacting global liquidity levels in 2012 come from the developed economies. First of all, the worsening environment in the Eurozone is impacting the business community there, but also those dependent on the European Union as export destinations. So for example, Eastern Europe and Asia are also being affected. And secondly, political uncertainty in America is affecting the credit conditions in the country and also investment. In the run-up to the presidential election in November and the congressional budget debate at the end of 2012, the business community has reduced its investment levels. So what we're seeing in 2012 is declines in the levels of investment around the world. For example, foreign direct investment in Q1 of the year declined by 9.8% in annual terms. Inflows have contracted in particular in the emerging markets given the riskiness of the industries there. For example, in Latin America, mergers and acquisition activity has declined by 30% so far in the year. So it's interesting to see, however, that safe haven assets such as government sovereign bonds, gold and the dollar are seeing increasing demand in 2012. Given the volatility in the markets, what investors are now looking for is a return of their investments rather high returns on their investments. So what we're expecting is lower levels of volatility and lower uncertainty in the global economy in 2013. What this should result in is higher levels of foreign direct investment and easier credit access in the year.